Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, and I was asked this question now. Teddy, how do I add a new user to my Google Workspace domain? Do I need to use their personal email address or just create it with their business email address? Before I show you how to do this, hit that subscribe button because I create these videos just for you. So this is my Google Workspace account, not my Gmail account, because only in Google Workspace do you have the ability to click on the sprocket and as the admin of the Google Workspace, manage this account. Now let's go to add a new user. When you add a new user, you put the person's name, Bill Adams. Then what's the email address that you want to use for this individual? I'm going to use B Adams, it's typical, you don't have to do that. Then I put the secondary email address. So look here, an email address like a personal one where you can send the user's initial sign-in instructions. And I'm going to use Teddy Burris at Gmail, which is one of my email addresses, just so I can show you that. And put his phone number. Now, I can further go manage the user's password and organizational unit if I want to. And I can set that in the password. I can, I can upload his profile. I can have him automatically generate a new password. Or I can create the password for him if I want to. I won't do that. I'm going to automatically generate. And this user will be assigned a Google Workspace Business Starter License. And then add new user. And so here's what's going to happen. The new user can start using Google Workspace within 24 hours. It takes a few minutes usually. There's his email address. There is no password set. Now, actually, if I show this, you'll see that's the temporary password that was set. I can copy a password or print this, or I can preview and send. So this is the email message they'll get to this personal or secondary email address that they have access to. It tells them that for their do for their business domain, their email address is what we set it for, badams at teddyburris.com in this example. And then it says right here, click sign in below. This will be a button or a link to click where they can sign in and set their password. This is pretty easy to do. It actually works way better if you send them the instructions to their personal or secondary email address. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope that works for you.